What's going on guys, my name is Tom and welcome back to the channel. Now we've looked at some pretty small spaces here already. We looked at a tiny house, we looked at the narrowest apartment in New York City, and now we're going to be looking at a 70 square foot apartment in New York City. So let's jump into it right now. Oh, I don't have, more. do you see this? Here Diego, spin around. The part that really amazes me here, the size is one thing, right? Like that's just ridiculous, 70 square feet, no, too small. I don't know how anyone could ever live in this. But it's the fact that it's in New York, so I would not be surprised if it's like over a thousand dollars or something crazy like that. You're, you might be too big for this apartment. Like my wingspan is almost the entirety this is probably what, nine foot? It go like to say that you would need to be a minimalist to live here is a complete understatement. There's no room for just about anything. But to that point, I don't know, there is something nice about the idea of not being able to buy anything because it's just not going to fit. Like how many useless things do we buy that just sit and we never do anything with? You wouldn't even be able to buy half the stuff because there's just no room for it. Like I'm a pretty big person, but <laughs> I picked up the entire door of this bathroom. Bathroom sink, we have a vanity. The shower is just in the middle here, sandwiched in, you have the shower rod to then cover the water from getting on your toilet. So I know this would be a super crazy concept for someone in America, but to give some world context here, when I was in Italy, right, we stayed at a hotel and they didn't have traditional showers. It was just the shower head and there was a drain on the floor. There weren't any curtains, there weren't any tubs or anything. It was literally just you showered in the middle of the bathroom. Now granted, the bathroom is not this small, but it just goes to show you that something that's super uncommon that not many of us have seen before doesn't make it a completely crazy idea. You have to go inside. Look, you had to turn. I, I, you I can't look straight ahead. I had to turn like this to get out. I had to do the side shuffle to get out of the bathroom. I think it's uh, pretty safe to say that this apartment does not follow ADA codes. I guess you could call this the kitchen with the the, uh, kitchenette. the kitchenette, we have a sink, some nice storage area. You could put a hot plate here, I guess. Then we have the mini fridge, microwave combo, some nice shelves. I mean, at least they're giving you an actual kitchen sink so you don't have to just use the one that's in the bathroom. So that's kind of nice. And there is a microwave to make some very low tech meals. In the corner where Diego is, is where the bed would go? Yeah, I don't see another place for the bed. I mean, it's gonna have to go here. This could be the bed, so this is technically a loft. Yeah, I would definitely put the bed on that upper deck part, throw up a ladder against the wall, or a step stool, and just climb your way up there. It may not be ideal, but we gotta save as much space as possible in an area like this. You have a huge window yep. with tons of light bouncing off that window. You have your own, I guess you could call this a, a terrace if I can even make it out here. Okay, got the shimmy out here. Okay, we made it. So you do have technically an outdoor space and it's actually interesting someone has the drying line here look at that you got your own balcony you're all set you don't need anything else as long as you have access to light and air that's all that really matters but i will say that is a very large window given the space that it's in and beyond that there's really not much else to show you've kind of already seen the room this is probably one of those situations where you're paying for the location obviously as is everywhere in New York. If you had a job in this specific area and that was the only option, then yeah, maybe you'd have to make it work. But again, it's New York, so it's going to be expensive regardless. Personally, I would rather spend a few extra bucks at that point and get a little more space. But if that's the only option, then that's the only option. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. As always, let me know what you think of this apartment in the comments below. Would you live here? And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn post notifications on so you get notified every time I upload. Thank you again so much for watching, and until next time.